expect a little bonus content. Um, found a few tools in the rampage. I mean, these are channel locks aren't anything too special. We got a breaker bar. It says Williams. I also found this Craftsman half inch ratchet. I don't know if this will free up or not, but we'll try it out. This socket, I don't know if it's a Craftsman or not. It's really rusty. It's like a three quarter. The chrome plating is coming off. This one's not terrible. It is a Craftsman. 15, 16, uh, 7 eighths. I'm not going to do much with that four way. Um, I might brush it off and slap some rust reformer on there to see if that does anything. But I got evaporate rust. I'm going to clean this junk up and then soak it a while and just see how they come out. Okay, it's been about oh, 20 hours since this stuff's been in here. I did take it out a couple of times and use a wire brush on it because some of that stuff was pretty built on there. Um, so I've kind of had a little sneak peek. Went ahead and put this in here to dis displace some of the uh, evapor rust. It only had the one gallon and it wasn't quite enough. So we'll take a look at the sockets here. Still a little gunk in there, but all the rust turned black. You know, this is definitely a, a usable socket. Um, I don't typically use this style of socket though. Too many points, kind of the round stuff off. You know, for some stuff that doesn't have a whole bunch of torque on it or anything, it'll work pretty good. Um, this one here turned out pretty good too. Kind of the same situation. There's a little bit of stuff, but not as much as the other one on the inside there. It's definitely used, but true craft. This is the one that was on the breaker bar, I believe. Could be wrong, but it really looks pretty good. Again, totally usable. This one didn't come out so good. I mean, it had so much rust on it. Like all of the, the chrome platings kind of missing. Probably half of it by now. Um, what's next here? These channel locks. They came out almost like new. There's still a little bit of rust. 
well, corrosion. It's not really rust anymore. All the stuff on the handles pretty much got loosened up by the revival rust. I don't know what all it was. I mean, it's great shape. Great shape. Probably the rest of this, I can just get out with a brush. Um, <clears throat> the breaker bar, it's going to take some more time. You know, I started out on this end and it got it freed up. But there's still significant rust here. But I, mean, I think it would still work. The handle still has just a ton of rust. But I'm going to arrange a little different uh, container for this stuff. And well, hopefully, one of you know, I get the whole thing done. Just let it sit for a couple days. Throw that other socket in there. This ratchet came out like brand new. Unbelievable. Fully functional. It's crazy. No, actually, this is one I had. This is the one that was in there. Uh, a lot of this came off and the plating is off of it. You know, that's pretty much down to bare metal. It's chewed up pretty good. Uh, I've been screwing with this. This did free up. Um, there's a, like a little bit of play now or before it wouldn't budge at all. You know, this is broke off. It's going to be probably not salvageable. You know, you can take these apart, but I don't really have any plans on doing that. <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of see if it would free up, sit in a day and get the evapor rust. You know, I've already got a good one. It's a little newer, I believe. So I'm not going to put this back in. It's just, uh, it just isn't worth the time. I did throw, I took the hood off the car and I took, put the hood bolts in here because they were completely rusty and they just cleaned right up. I'm, you know, first time using a Vapor Rust. I've seen it on, you know, other YouTube channels and I was you know, kind of skeptical, but this is crazy. I mean, these things were just covered in rust and they are totally usable now. It's just not not even a speck of rust on them anymore. That kind of a nice gray coat, whatever it gets converted to. I think the I don't know where the washer went. That's well, not the right bolt. That's why. It's a little different. This is this came out of the hood. Somebody must have been in there. That's probably the one that didn't come out very good. Another hood bolt, same thing, totally nice. For now, um, I'm gonna put this back in when I can find some other container and I'll soak this guy some more too. Do some more scrubbing on it just to see how good it'll come out. It's really probably not something I'd use because I, I don't really like the style of socket, like I said. I just find that they'll round the kind of stuff off that I'm screwing with all this rusty junk. This doesn't work so good. But yeah, that's all for now.